home. Time for a video. Uh, middle of winter, not much you can really do fishing wise, but I wanted to teach you how to make an oatmeal pack bait today. Uh, this originated from the Pay Lakes in the United States. Basically, you're going to take a grain, which is going to be your oats. You're going to add a binder, which will be your cream corn. Then you can add a flavoring, which I'm doing a CC Moore pineapple for this particular one. And my hook bait of choice, uh, I like using Tiger Nuts. These are the new CC Moore pineapple, uh, high visibility Tiger Nuts. I want to use that as a hook bait. So I kind of match my flavor to the bait a little bit. Obviously, the bait as you know what the fish is going to take but the pack bait itself will attract uh, bait fish in then hopefully the carp will soon follow after that um, the way we're going to present this also it's going to be molded around the lead weight i'm using a bolt rig uh, typical pay lake style they mold it right around the bait itself uh, the problem with uh, european style fishing uh, if you mold it around the bait with a heavy lead on that lead when you cast is going to go uh, faster than the bait so on the cast it's going to come flying off so that's why we have to mold this around the lead weight which I'll show you later in the video so let's get started first thing we're going to do is a tub of old-fashioned oats um, so this is basically around a package is 42 ounces so let's take this off and just a clean bucket all we're going to do 42 ounces into the bucket. Next, all we're going to do, we're going to take our uh, cream corn. Well, I'll open up real quick here. Just take me a second to get this open. Obviously watch the edges because it's going to be sharp. Now I only pour a little bit in right now because uh, what we want to do is add a little uh, flavor. So usually my rule of thumb is I add a capful, capful per tub of oats. So got that. Again, I'm using the uh, Ultra Essence CC More Pineapple. So we just add that in. All this is going to do, if you had just dump this right into the oats. Those oats are going, going to absorb this, so it's not going to be evenly distributed. So if you do it this way, we'll mix this up here in a second in the can. Just grab a spoon and just mix it up some, just to get the flavor throughout the cream corn. That way when you dump the rest in, it's going to evenly distribute. All right, that's good. So, and just spread it around. Obviously, you gotta scrape some out. Also, in the video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Obviously, when you're fishing all day, it's gonna dry out. Or if you, by accident, make this too wet, I'll show you how to fix that as well. So, a full can of cream corn mixed in. And right now, all we're gonna do is uh, mix this up. Just, uh, you'll be able to tell when it's fully mixed. Um, when you look at it, it'll have like a little glossiness to the oats. So we'll let that we'll mix that up. That's just about good there. The other thing I do, this is a little tip that I do. I'm using the CC More Maize Flour. Um, this helps it bind better. That way, when you cast it out, it'll pack like a brick on your leg, but still break down fast. All I'm doing, taking just a little bit, make sure there's no chunks here. Take, that's probably a tablespoon. I'll mix, just uh, spread that around on top of here and mix it up again. And uh, mix that up, that'll incorporate, that'll make it bind really good. That way you can get a really good hard cast on this. Probably like, say 100 yards that I've achieved already. So mix this up, make sure every piece is wet by the cream corn. And you can smell that, it smells really good. The pineapple definitely smells good with that. So bring the uh, camcorder over so you can see what's going on here.
Okay, as you can see, uh, basically it's kind of like a particle. Um, when this gets on the bottom of the lake, which I'm going to show you in the fish tank also, it's going to flake and then uh, the fish will peck each individual piece up, suck it in. Um, also, bait fish can eat this too. A lot of times what happens is you have bluegill or perch move in, and then that will attract the carp also. So we're going to let this sit for about five minutes, that way it fully absorbs in. And I'm going to show you how to pack it properly, and then also do a test in the fish tank. Okay, welcome back. I just grabbed two pineapple tiger nuts out of the CC Moore jar. I'm just going to put those on the hair rig real quick. Definitely have an awesome smell to it. Alright, I usually rig them long ways. I think it looks better in the water. Okay, next, to do the oatmeal pack. Um, if you're a beginner for the first time, I, use, I would suggest using a method lead. It's a little bit more forgiving with the holes in it. It'll pack around a little bit tighter. First thing you want to do, dip your hands in water. You have to do that because it helps it to bind, actually. So grab a little bit, probably just like a little handful, and just uh, mold this around a couple times. We're going to come up with golf ball size, about that. What you want to do, put it in this palm, and you want to press up like this. You just separated the center of it, um, kind of has a little curve to it, if you can see that. And what you want to do, this is the most important part because if you do this wrong, it's not going to cast, it's going to break off. Put the lead directly in the center and you want everything aligned. Your main line is going to come out the top and this will be center on the bottom. Press this lead in. As you pressed, because it is already cupped, it's going to cup around this a little bit more. So we just kind of work it around a little bit and uh, make sure that's tight and that's tight. If this would get buried in there and you get the cast, especially the main line, it's going to uh, fly off on the cast. So basically what we do, compress this around, kind of like you're using uh, the method. Compre the more compressions you do, the longer it will take the break. And I'll just keep going around a few times till I feel it's totally compact around the lid. Okay, so there we have it. It's perfectly in line, the top and bottom. That way when I cast it, it's going to stay on. What's going to happen, which I'll show you in the fish tank. Um, as soon as this hits the water, it's going to start breaking down and spread around. And then when the fish comes in, it's going to go right for the tiger nuts. It's obviously going to peck a little bit of that, but that's the basic uh, oatmeal pack. I'm going to show you in the aquarium now what it looks like as it breaks down, and that'll be it for that. It's so simple. Uh, a few ingredients. It definitely tears apart some waters. So let me get the aquarium set up, and I'll show you how it breaks down. Okay, time to watch them break. Here I'm just doing a ball. And uh, usually there's a lead weight in it, so it sinks a little quicker. You can see how it kind of bubbles. Let me zoom in here. See how it's kind of breaking apart. There's bubbles coming out of it. And as soon as the fish hits that too, the um, maize flower is actually going to make a clouding effect. Kind of watch out how that breaks. See it all coming apart, there's constant movement, bubbles coming out. Tracks a lot of small fish, like bluegills and perch, like I said before. Then all of a sudden the carp will move in and push them out, start pecking away at it, and then uh, hopefully have a fish. Um, also, you can adjust the break times. If you add more maize flour into the mix, it'll take a lot longer to break down. And also your compressions. So let me zoom back out and I'll put the rig in. Put the rig in here. So basically, let me put it over this way, clear area. Got your rig in here, hits bottom. 
Let me zoom in. As you can see, it's breaking down. And uh, if it's a windier day too, it'll spread. So keep that in mind. And also, I'm going to show you in a second here how to adjust it. Because as you're out in the bank, it will dry out. So we'll show you how to adjust that. So we're just watching that break just so you can see how it works. Uh, bubbles are coming out of the bait like any. If it's pressed too much, you won't even get any bubbles come out. That's how you know you did it wrong. But this is pretty good. Total break time, it takes anywhere from a say a minute to two minutes. Two minutes is probably your what you really want. That way it uh, withstands a cast. And as you can see, I'm going to hit it with my finger just so you can see the cloud up effect. Like when a fish comes in and hits that, see how the clouding comes out of that a little bit. You get real fine particles going everywhere. Uh, fish will come in, they'll start pecking away at the oats. Then obviously your hook bait is right there. So it just sucks it up and there you go, you have a fish. So I'll show you here now uh, how to adjust the pack bait. Which I don't think other people have really talked about too much, which it is very important. So let's do that right now. Alright, the final part of my video. You never hear people talking about this with pack baits, is how to fix them. So let's say you're out for like five, six hours on the bank, and this happens. Go to pack it, and it's just flaking apart. It's not, it's not holding its uh, form like you want it to. All you gotta do, simple as this. Just get a little bit of water, Sprinkle it around. Sprinkle that around. Mix it up. A little bit more. You'll be able to tell when it's good to go. So, okay. Now, all we do is grab a handful again. Okay, now it's packing like you want it to. So that's how you do that. Uh, the other thing too, when you pack this, if, listen to how it sounds. If you, um, I'm going to do this near the camera so hopefully it picks up. When you go to squeeze this, it doesn't make a sound. Um, if you hear it squish, it is way too wet. That way if you're trying to use lake water instead of uh, cream corn, which you can do after you get used to how it's supposed to feel, you feel, you hear that, it doesn't squish. It sounds dry and it... It's kind of dry to the touch. You can see my, it's sticking to my hands a little bit. But that is how you do that. So, okay, let's play the other scenario right now. Let's say it's too wet. I'm going to go ahead and add too much water to this. Alright, way too much liquid in there. You can, you can hear it which I'll do near the camera right now. See how it sounds like that? Way too wet. It's, uh, even though it, it formed a ball, it's gonna fall off on the cast, way too wet. All you gotta do to fix this problem is get some more oats. So let me grab that real fast. I have another little one here. All you gotta do Add a little bit more oats to it. This is going to absorb the excess liquid. So you're just going to mix it around. Probably let it sit for a few minutes, but for video purposes, I'm just going to show you. Um, so we just make a ball. You can see it doesn't sound uh, squishy anymore. If you let it sit for a few minutes, you won't hear any sound at all. It'll be like the first ball I made. So that's how you bring it back to life. So if you get too wet or too dry, now you have an option of how to fix this. And like I said, if you're fishing overnight, let's say, or even 48 hours, whatever you're doing, at least you'll know how to correct the problem. Um, also, I showed you the basics today. Um, got your uh, tub of oats, which uh, full size. Again, we use a can of cream corn. The CC Moore pineapple, just a cap full of that. And I use a tiger nut as a bait. I'll have a full description down below of uh, the ingredients. But that's it. 
that's an oatmeal pack bake for you. Uh, very simple to do and I'll show some videos later on how to uh, turn this into a little something better with different additives. But this is the plain Jane, very basic version. Couple ingredients and you're ready to catch fish. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to do a couple more pack bait videos here in the near future. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like it, leave a comment if you have a question. Until next time, I'm Brian Wingard. Hope you enjoyed my video.